Hi there, this is a special preview of an episode that you can only find on patreon.com slash Elwood City Limits. Take a listen, and if you like what you hear, consider supporting us for as little as a dollar a month. We appreciate you listening no matter what, but if you want to hear all kinds of extra content, then patreon.com slash Elwood City Limits is the only place to hear that. Until then, here's a little preview of what that extra content sounds like. So officially, Barney and Friends, the show was commissioned by... Uh, Connecticut Public Television debuted in 1992. Uh, It was almost instantly a massive hit with its core audience, which is from around ages 1 to 8, even as high as age 8. PBS initially denied funding it beyond the first 30 episodes, but CPTV organized letter-writing campaigns through what's called the Barney Fan Club, which is basically a bunch of uh, parents who liked who liked and who had kids who liked Barney. And so it was encouraging parents and children to demand more. And they were eventually able to wring more money out of uncle PBS's pockets. So just funny. One of those, one of those classic examples of hindsight being 2020 of PBS almost uh, turned down more Barney before it even got as big as it would get. So Barney ended up running for 14 seasons from 1992 all the way to 2009. So probably all of our patrons who are listening to this at some point have watched Barney in their very young development. Over 200 episodes were produced out of Dallas, much like previous episode Wishbone. Something about Dallas. They love making kids shows up there. There's got to be some sort of tax credit or something. Yeah, also, that's probably I, I want to see some of those 2009 episodes of Barney. Like, what is he downloading? Like, uh, boys and girls, let me get out the iPad. <laughs> I, I, was, I, I thought you were going to say, let's download LimeWire. LimeWire. Well, 09 a little bit late for LimeWire, but he is like, I have to farm my crops in Farmville. Oh, there you go. My Facebook profile picture is a landscape. <laughs> Can't wait for Obama to be elected. Yeah. Just... <laughs> <laughs> totally. Totally. <laughs> um, John McCain so... says he's not even an American. Like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but he did say he's a super de duper human being. Oh, man. So, of course, Barney, insanely marketable. He had dozens, if not hundreds, of videos. The Wikipedia list for all of his video releases is really, really long. I could not count it all myself. Uh, Several specials that were also put on video, like Barney Live in New York. There's a lot of, like, Barney Live at this location. And just like, can we get Barney Live at the Apollo? Oh, my Barney Live. Def Jam Barney. Yeah, totally. Something like that. Some boys and girls drive like this, but other boys and girls, (laughs) they drive like this. (laughs) Oh, God. (laughs) Sorry, that really got me. Um, Believe it or not, there were also Barney video games, like Barney's hide-and-seek game for the Sega Genesis. Which I I played. I've played Barney's hide-and-seek I, I, you played my, it? Tell me yeah. Tell me about it. Tell me. Uh, a, a, a girl that lived on my cul-de-sac when I was a little kid had a, had a Genesis. Um, and, and the only two games that I remember there, her having was uh, Toe Jam and Earl, which rules to this day. Mm. I'll play Toe mm. Jam and Earl right now. One of the greatest games of all time. Uh, and the other game was Barney's Hide and Seek, which we barely could understand how to make it work. Like I, It was just aggressively unfun. Okay. Well, I mean, I certainly wouldn't expect that much from a Barney video game, but uh, good good to know, I suppose, that it wasn't worth your time. I, th- from the screenshot I saw, I was like, this doesn't, this looks barely like a PC DOS game. Other stuff, like he had a show at Universal, Universal Studios, he of course had a movie that we talked about, and there's potentially going to be a new Barney movie coming soon. Last year they announced that there is going to be a Barney movie in the works, with Daniel Kaluuya from Get Out potentially starring in it. Of all the, like, of what? all the people that I could have guessed, yeah. Is he, is he Barney? I don't think so, I imagine he's going to be like, Barney's human friend, who is like so the so we don't have to look at Barney all day. He seems know? a little old to be Barley, Barney's buddy. Well, you never know. Maybe maybe they maybe they're like college pals or something. Mm, yeah, exactly. <laughs> Barney just starts just puts the spoon around the teacup and uh well, it all goes wrong from there. 
I would have voted for Obama three times oh, if I could have. <laughs> It's a fun voice to do. Okay, that'll do it for now, but we'll see you next time on Elwood City Limits or over on patreon.com slash Elwood City Limits. Have a great week.